Okay, I'm gonna quickly show you how to lock cells in Excel. Um, so the first thing you're gonna do, um, so let's say we've got this header row here. We don't want people to be able to edit it. We're gonna share this spreadsheet. People are gonna make changes, but we don't want to lose these header rows. Um, all I'm gonna do, show you here first. It's a little counter counterintuitive how we have to do that. So you are going to select the row you want, go to Format Cells, and then here under on the Protection tab, um, you can see that locked is already checked, which seems strange because that cell is definitely not locked. I can edit it. There we go. It took our change, no problem. What it's doing is that that property doesn't actually take effect until you use Protect Sheet here on the Review tab. So to Home, we're going to go to Review. That that property doesn't actually make any difference until you enable this protection protecting of a sheet. So what we do have to do is let's select a lot of rows here. So I've got you know these rows. I've already I'm I've uh, already got data in, and we're going to do some more just so we can add rows to it. Format cells. There we go. So now I if I check this locked it. It's going to lock those as well, but if I leave it unchecked, just make sure that locked button is unchecked. Tell it OK. Um, and now, so I can go here, format cells, protection is locked. These format cells, protection is not locked. So when I go to protect sheet, it's going to by default pop up with the select lock cells and select unlocked cells checked. I'm going to give it a password. You will not be able to change these if you don't know the password, so make sure it's a password you remember. But now that this sheet is protected, when I try to edit that, those values, I get this pop-up box that it's a protected sheet. But these cells I can still edit, no problem. Uh, if you ever want to change those to actually edit these headers, you're going to have to unprotect the sheet, which is going to ask you for that password you have to remember. And that's it.